We often show reactions with reactants on the left side and products on the right side, much like these examples. Are all reactions this way? Is this always the best representation? Do they always go from left to right? Could they go from right to left? If they could go backwards, could they go both ways? How could we represent this? Double-headed arrows? Or with forward and reverse arrows? Actually, the latter two are two ways to show those reactions that can go both ways. This is an introduction to Equilibrium Explain. It goes both ways. Let's look at a hypothetical two-way reaction. If you have two elements that are diatomic molecules, let's say the blue element and the red element, they can react to form a compound, a molecule, that contains one blue atom and three red atoms. If we balance the equation for this reaction, one blue diatomic molecule would react with three red diatomic molecules to form two of the blue red molecules. We could represent these symbolically with combinations of blue and red circles. As we alluded to in the introduction, often reverse reactions go in the reverse direction, meaning that both the forward and reverse reactions are occurring simultaneously. These forward and reverse reactions come into some sort of a balance, an equilibrium, where the rate of the forward reaction equals the rate of the reverse reaction. For some reactions, the reverse may, is maybe slower than the forward, and then again, the forward reaction may be slower than the reverse. Let's start out with only product molecules present in this hypothetical reaction. Since only product molecules are present at the instantaneous start, only the reverse reaction is possible at that instant. While we are not interested in how the two product molecules come together to decompose into the reactants on the left side, they must come together in some manner to do this. When they do, we now have one set of molecules on the left. Another two right side molecules can come together to form another set of left side molecules. One blue molecule and three more reds. Now while the reverse reaction is occurring, the forward reaction can also start happening. One set of blue molecules must come together with three red molecules. Again, we are not interested in the mechanism, which is probably multi-step. We are just interested in the overall reaction that forms right side molecules. Once again, the reverse reaction can occur and another. In the simplistic modeling, we are showing forward and reverse reactions separately. Remember, both are occurring simultaneously. When we write out a reaction equation as a model, it gives a false impression that the molecules are on the left sides and the right sides with some equal sign or arrows representing the equal sign in some manner. In reality, they are contained in some system, a vessel, there might be gases in a cylinder or molecules dissolved in some solvent. And as such, they are freely moving about. Equally distributed, there are no left or right sides. As they smash into each other, the forward and reverse reactions are occurring simultaneously. Some more product or products are being formed. Some more reactants are being formed. In different parts of the system, they could be far apart or right near each other. We have explored equilibrium reactions that can be represented with double-headed arrows or forward and reverse arrows over each other, but more realistically, yet still imperfectly, they can be represented with no left and right sides and no arrows to speak of in a reaction system with forward and reverse reactions occurring simultaneously in a reaction system. This has been Equilibrium Explained. It goes both ways.